Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm back with a rather large um, Frank Garcia Studio Hall from two weekends or two Saturdays. So I went um, a couple Saturdays ago to meet up with um, Mimi, who is Mimi Jocelyn Designs. And if you haven't seen the video for this gorgeous tumbler, I will put a link to it in the description box. But I had ordered this from Mimi. So I met her up at Frank's studio to um, to pick that up. I had placed an order online with his studio so that I could pick it up on Saturday. And um, so I picked it up and I thought it was good <laughs> until they told me, oh, we just got in the new Maggie Holmes collection. I was like, oh my goodness. So then I ended up getting some of that. And then this past Saturday, I went back again for a class. So his his um, his studio is open now for classes, but with limited, you know, seating. I think the class sizes are half the size that they used to be, complete with social distancing and mask wearing and all that. So I did go for a class that was actually being taught by Anna, who is Serenity Creations. So I went this Saturday, this past Saturday, and then I picked up a couple of things. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the um, three Prima collections that I, I didn't get everything from the collections. I got bits and pieces from each of the three collections. Um, I did get some of the Maggie Holmes stuff. And also Tim Holtz has a new line that's out as well. So I picked up some of that. So I will share everything that I picked up with you. So let me start with uh, the Prima stuff. You know me and my shabbiness. I really, really love the Magic Love collection. So I picked up a few of the 12x12s. And I picked up the 6x6 paper pad. Um, so the 12x12s are foiled. I usually don't craft that much with large like the 12 by 12 papers but I like to get some of them because you know they're foiled and they look pretty and I can cut them down but I um, for the size projects that I do the smaller papers either 6 by 6 or 8 by 8 and sometimes the A4 is a better fit for me um, but I do love the foiling so let me show you really quickly which foiled ones I picked up so this one, I got this one because I just absolutely love the cherub that's over here. And it's a, it has a gold foil. And then this is the background paper. Look at those super cute cassettes. Oh my goodness. Love those. And then this is one of the, um, the die cut sheets with the 3x4s. And, uh, and of course it's foiled. Really, really beautiful. I love this one right here. And then this is the back, so it's such a pretty floral, um, light pink on a more mauve pink background. So of course, with the um, with the die cut pages, I always pick up two. And then this one, so this collection, it has a lot of hearts, but so it's good for Valentine's, but it's also good for spring and Easter because there are bunnies, there's flowers, there's balloons. Um, there's also little chicks so so here on the same page at the top is a cherub and a heart that says love and then at the bottom is a lamb and some chicks and a basket of flowers and then it has this really beautiful floral scallop on the edges or close to the edge and that's foiled so pretty and then this is the back oh this page is so gorgeous and then my absolute favorite is this one with the stamps so super super cute love 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 this page and then this is the back it's a damask pattern that's again like a tone on tone really beautiful and then um i also picked up the the mold so these are the 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 mold the pieces that the mold makes I love the bow and then these are like buttons and then there's a rose and it's just really beautiful so I got that and then I picked up the wood stickers I actually picked these up when I was in the store because online I couldn't really get a feel for them but when I saw them in person I was like yeah I need those so these are gorgeous so the papers are a dollar ten I believe and the these were 6.99 you get nine 
and again they're good for valentine's they're good for spring they're good for summer really beautiful um papers the mold was $8.99 and the 6x6 is $6.99 and then um i'm not gonna pull out all the ephemera but this is the ephemera pack so you can see kind of what's in there here i love the cassettes and then again there's some flowers there's this is some bunnies um cherubs some chicks uh like a bird holding a, <clears throat> a bouquet of flowers so pretty so i got that and there's 33 pieces in there this was 4.99 and i believe there were two different sets of ephemera but i only picked up this one and then also when i was in the store i didn't see these online but look how gorgeous these are so these are enamel keys you get eight in the pack and they were 6.99 so really pretty pink and gold and at the bottom there's a little heart right here and then of course the top part is a heart as well so pretty and then I thought these were so beautiful. So these are mother of pearl heart buttons. Um, but you can put a jump ring through them and use them as charms and use them on your projects or dangles. And this was $4.99. And you get 15, 15 of them in there. So really pretty. Okay, so that was the Magic Love Collection. And then I also picked up the my sweet collection so and you're not gonna believe it but i love this collection a little even more than i love the magic love collection i don't know i don't know what it is i love the buttons i picked up two i think i picked up two or i should have picked up oh no i didn't i didn't pick up two okay so these are the 12 by 12 um foiled sheets and these are the button cards look how beautiful this is and there's just like little dots of foil um, all over here is borders of foil and then you see all the pretty vintage looking buttons and then this is the back and that has squirrels and bunnies on it in a like a a gray blackish color on I think that's what it is I don't think it's green I could be wrong <laughs> it's pretty it's really pretty um, but I think it's like a grayish black on an ivory background, but it could be like a dark emerald green also, um, because that is the, the high accent color in the collection. It's very vintage, very shabby, but then it has that pop of green. And then here is another page. That's a collage page. So pretty. So it's a sewing themed collection. Look how beautiful this page is that's totally shabby and you can see there's a ledger in the background and then all these beautiful flowers and there's some distressing in there so pretty and then i love this page and look at that foil i hope you can see the foil um but this is like a, a little collage of a butterfly with a really pretty wreath around it and then the pair of scissors and there's some of the green and some of the pink and then this is the back. It's just a um, a mauvey pink color on uh, with white polka dots. So I only got three of the 12 by 12 because I had purchased the 8 by 8 paper collection on this or paper pad for this collection. Um, so let me cut this open really quick. And the 8 by 8 was 10.99. And then, look, that's one of the pages that I do have. So in the 8x8, you get um, six different patterns, and you get five sheets each of those different patterns. So this is one I did not get the 12x12 12 12 of. This one I did. That's why I didn't get two, because I knew that there were also in the 8x8 8 8 pad. And look how pretty that one is. And then this is the page I did get. And then that's it. And then the back. So pretty. So I love this. And I, I love it. And I pulled out. This is one of the new um, Tim Holtz um, Distress Inks for this year. I think it came out this year. Um, yeah, this was. They had a blue color. 
was the first one that came out, which was um, uh, a speckled egg. And then this rustic wilderness came out. And then the pink color um, just came out uh, in February. So this is a really dark emerald green. It might not look like it from the cover, but it's a really pretty dark emerald green. And it's going to go beautifully with this collection. So I can't wait to, to play with this. So then the other things that I picked up for this collection is I picked up the trim and it's a butterfly trim. It's only $4.99 and you get um, one yard. Um, but I got it because I don't have I don't have a trim like this. And it's a layered butterfly with a pearl in the center. I have something kind of similar. And it's an applique, but it's not sheer like this is, and it's different than this one. So this one's really beautiful. And of course, it's, you know, it's connected. So you can use it as an actual trim, or you can cut and separate the butterflies, which is most likely what I would do. But it's really beautiful. So I got that one. And then I got one pack of the ephemera. So I got this one because I love the button cards. And then I love the floral pieces that were in this this particular pack. And so there are 27 ephemera pieces and it was also $4.99. And then I got one pack of flowers that go with the collection. Because look at that flower right there. That's that butterfly page. And they made these beautiful flowers and this one here. So I got one that just had um that just had um you know patterns of the or flowers made out of the papers and then of course I picked up the mold and the mold was $8.99 but you get beautiful scissors this piece right here is gorgeous and then the butterflies so um, recently I made a bunch of um, a bunch of wax seals using my wax seal stamps and my wax and then I started making some out of my mold so here is a mold that I have in my stash it's really beautiful roses and then here are some of the wax seals that I made using that mold so this is um, like sealing wax I just and I have it in a stick form so I just and it goes into a, hot, a high temp glue gun I just um, pressed it into here let it cool down and then took it out so then I put a these don't have it but I put a sticky dot on the back and then you can just use them as like wax seals on envelopes or your projects or whatever but I plan to do the same with those and especially those butterflies because those are going to be really really pretty um, and that that uh, rose collage is going to be really pretty too so that is the um, my sweet collection really really beautiful um okay and then prima has another new collection called diamond and these are the only two parts of the collection that i picked up um i did also want the chipboard but he was out of stock on that so these are the this is the ephemera pack and you can see the pieces i love this image and then also the flowers um, so, you know, I'm a shabby chic vintage type person. That's the way I usually craft. And the colors on this collection aren't usually something that I craft with. Maybe for fall. So I did get the 3x4. So, um, like these pieces here, these cards here, I can definitely use them in uh, fall creations. And then I love this one. This is really, really pretty. And um, this one here that says Strong Heart. I love the sentiment and then it does have um, like an animal print which I'm not you know not into animal print but I actually really like it on this card because it's not overpowering and it just I think it just adds something extra to the card that pattern so I really like these cards so in the in the 3x4 note card set you get um, eight these four of eight different designs so you get 32 different cards so really cute. These are super cute and you could, if you are into painting or um, coloring, you can definitely do that with these because they're black and white. And, and then there's this one. 
and then this one. So, um, I don't remember if Prima ever came out with a collection that had, um, that had like black people in it. So I definitely wanted to pick up some parts of the collection just to show some support that, you know, hey, there is an audience for this and it's good that you actually made a collection that has, um, you know, people of color in it. So, so I picked up just those two parts of that. I also picked up two packs of the crown. So these are $6.99. And it's um, the Frank Garcia Memory Hardwood French Regalia Crowns. And I have been making some um, pokey tools. These are inspired by Anna, who is Serenity Creations here on YouTube. And I made some, and on the top I used um, Frank's Crowns. So you can see it also has a jump ring for you to dangle things off of that. Um, because I, and I, could, <clears throat> I could still, I use the scribe pens from Hobby Lobby. I could still dangle something off of the scribe pin that um, it has a loop at the top. I could still dangle something off of that, but I don't need to because the crowns have a, a hole and a jump ring on them. So I had, I had a pack of five. I used four, so I needed some more. So I, um, this was the one I had left. So I picked up two additional packs um, so that I can make some more of the scribe pins. And then I have another set to use on just regular projects um in his clearance section the clearance stuff most of it is half off or i believe that's the price so these papers this is the maggie holmes sweet story collection and this is one of my favorite patterns from that collection because of the beautiful swans so i picked up two of that one and these were 55 cents each and then i also picked up this one here and then it has this pretty um, triangular pattern on the back. So love these flowers. And so that's all I picked up from that. And then I also picked up these bowls, which I was never able to to get. To get. <laughs> and these were um, half off as well. So these were $3. So love those pieces. And let me see what else did I get. Oh. <laughs> okay I also so now wandering wandering around in the store um I saw this Mente papers book I have a Mente's papers book that has different ephemera in it so what these are are um it is these are like cardstock pages and then they have different type of ephemera in it that you can either cut out or put through your uh, die cutting machine and cut them out like I can put these through my scan and cut and have it cut them all out or it, it's easy just to cut them out by hand but there's a ton of uh, the images and you know they repeat um, but there's a lot of them in here and you can use them on different projects so this one was called window book so I picked this one up and this was $5.99 and there are 24 double sided sheets in this this book you can see the back is like a distressed pattern really really pretty so i picked this up to go into my stash so of course you know ephemera i love ephemera i can use them in pretty much anything so i picked that up and then easter initially i thought i was going to pick up some of the doodle bug collection and actually i did pick up some of the doodle pops but then <laughs> I saw the Echo Park collection and I was like, oh no, no, no. So I ended up getting the Echo Park um, Hippity Hoppity, I think it's called. Uh, oh no, Welcome Easter. <laughs> I think one of the, yeah, it's called Welcome Easter. So this is the cardstock sticker sheet. And I love it because of the chocolate bunny. I just love the chocolate bunny. It is so cute. The colors are very pretty. I love the soft um, minty colors. There's also some pink in here. There's yellow, a little bit of orange, not too much orange. And the orange isn't like really, really bright. I love the truck. It's just a really, really pretty and cute Easter collection. So that's the, um, the sticker sheet. And then I picked up 
some of the 12 by 12 pages. So this is one with die cuts, big die cuts. And then this is the back, really pretty uh, leaves. And then I picked up a couple of this sheet. <clears throat> this was my favorite. Look at that basket, so cute, it's just so cute. And then this was the back of that one. So I have to do some Easter projects for my nieces. So this paper is going to come in handy. I love this one, of course, with more die cut pieces. So I think I got the pages that had the die cuts. Look at the carrots, how cute. I got the pages that had a lot of die cuts on them that I can use for um, my, my niece's um, projects. And then this is actually from the Doodlebug. And the Doodlebug collection is called Hippity Hoppity. But I love this, and I'm going to put these in my planner for, um, you know, during uh, Easter and spring. So pretty. And it just says Happy Easter on the back. So then I also picked up the Frames and Tags pack from the um, Hello Easter. Or Welcome Easter. Yeah. Welcome Easter Echo Park collection. So that's all the pieces that you get in here. This was $4.99. And then I did pick up some Doodle Pops because I love Doodle Pops. They're just too cute. So I got two of the Easter basket. Look at the eggs. And some of them are have epoxy on them and it's layered. So I got two of those and these were uh, $1.99. And then I got the one with the chicks. Two of them are in eggs and two of them are out. And then there's also some little flowers. Again, $1.99. And then this super cute one with the bunny and the carrot car with the sun and that was a dollar 99 as well so that's all that i got for the easter collection maybe maybe not okay oh my goodness so i thought i was done <laughs> like i said i had placed my order on um on thursday so that i could pick it up on saturday and then I was thinking, you know, I got pretty much everything that I wanted. I'm not going to have to, like, wander around the store that much and look at stuff because I've already gotten all the things that I wanted. And then I was checking out <laughs> and picking up my bag. And they're like, oh, did you see the new Maggie Holmes collection? I was like, what? I was like, I just ordered online. I didn't see it. And they're like, no, it came out on Friday. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. So then, yes, I had to get some of the Maggie Holmes because I know that it's going to sell out super fast. And I will tell you something funny. I was there on Saturday. I got there like at 1130. I left by like 1230, 1240. And when I left, there was at least maybe 10 sheets of the chipboard. By 7.30 that night, they were all gone. <laughs> so I'm glad that I did pick up the stuff that I picked up when I did because um, I would have to wait until Frank reordered if, you know, if he was able to reorder because um, it, it's a really popular collection. Um, her papers, her collections, to me, they always, they, not always, a lot of times they look so much alike that you can't sometimes tell one collection from the other um but this one there's like a lot of different elements about it and i just love it so much and i had to pick it up so um i also picked up the ephemera pack you get 40 pieces in here and some of them are vellum some of them are cardstock so pretty this was only 4.99 and then i also picked up the sticker book so there's 304 pieces in here and there's eight sheets and this was $5.99, and that's a really good deal for that. So you get some, um, and these are clear stickers. So you get some clear stickers and, like, um, you know, full color. Some that are black on the clear sticker. And then some more full color. These are alpha black, solid black. And these are more clear stickers. I believe yep and these are clear as well so they're on white paper but when you pull the sticker off it's it's clear 
So it's going to pick up whatever color paper you put you put it on. These are so cute. All the treats. And then these are white paper. So printed on white paper. It's not clear paper. So you get some labels and some frames and some word fetty. So that's a really good deal for $5.99 for that. And then I picked up these are some kind of clips. So these are paper clips. I thought of maybe using a punch to punch a hole and then hanging some dangles off the sides of those. But they this has a bow. This says love. Sorry for the glare. This says love. This is um, these two are flowers. This one says hello. And that one is a different style bow, but it's a bow on as well. And then I thought these were really cool. Oh, so this is this these were $6.99. The stencils were $4.99, and these are the three stencils that you get. So look at that bow one. Really cute. And I love that the edges are scalloped, so you could actually like use a pen uh, to, to scallop, to draw scallops on your project as well, just using the stencils. And also to like either use some paint or distress ink or something to apply the flowers, butterflies, and um, leaves. Really pretty. I love that. And then I picked up the thickers. So these were $5.99. But look at all the beautiful pieces. And these are puffy. They're, um, yeah, they're all puffy. As well as the ones on the back. Look at the bows. I love her bows. So pretty. So I picked up that. And then this is the cardstock stickers. And so, oh, for the thickers, you get 70 pieces on here. For the cardstock stickers, there are 68. And these are, oh, it's, it's, um, paper, whatever the ivory paper. They're not clear. And then, um, of course, it's double sided, and the price was $4.99. And then these are the papers that I got. So he didn't have any paper pads. They hadn't sent him any yet. They might, they may have, like I said, I placed this order last week, Thursday, and then I picked it up last Saturday. Um, so this is the, these are the pages that I like the most, and that's why I picked them up. So love this one. Anything with tags or die cuts or cutouts or whatever is things that I usually gravitate towards. So I picked up this one, and then it has this really beautiful teal and white. And these are hearts. So pretty. I picked up that one. Then I picked up the one with the treats on it. So different cakes and cupcakes and donuts. And then look how pretty that... You can't even call them squares. I don't even know what kind of pattern this is. But it's really cute. Because, you know, this um, the sections are different sizes. Really pretty. And then, of course, she has to have some florals. So this one is a pink peachy pink an ivory black toe um mauve <laughs> so really beautiful pinky colors and then this is the pattern on the back which is a pink on like a lavender and then here's some with these little um tickets and frames really pretty and look at that page with black with the white bows oh my gosh i love this page i should have gotten two of these so love that page and then um this one is the the black and white the black gray and white flowers so pretty with this beautiful gingham pink on the back love 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 and then this one is a really pretty roses or like scribble dots on a pink and then look how pretty that is. So again, this is like a ledger paper in the background. And then like these hand-drawn birds on um, branches. So pretty. And then this one, I really like this page. It's just so pretty. There's like little um, greenhouses and some lots of trees and flowers. And I just thought it was so pretty. And then this is the back. And I picked up two of that one. And then this is another one of her patterns, which is so pretty. And then the back is stripes. 
and then this one here more bows love her bows and then this is the back which is so pretty and then here's one with the um, squirrels and bunnies and hedgehogs so cute and then it has a pink diamond pattern on the back so oh my goodness that was my marathon <laughs> That was my marathon haul from Frank's studio. And I used my code, which is Tammy10, to get 10% off of my order. So you can use that code as well. Um, if you are purchasing online and picking up in store or either purchasing online and having it shipped to you, you can use that code, which is, like I said, Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y 10. And it will get you 10% off of your order. That does not include clearance stuff. So, um, yes, and I always say to, you know, make sure you sign up for his, um, newsletter. It comes out, I believe, once a week. If there's extra coupons, I think today I saw one, um, that said $10, oh, I can't remember. There was one that was like a dollar amount off of a $60 purchase. So, you can check that out and see what that is because that's more than 10%, depending on how much you buy. Um, so yes, sign up for his newsletter. He'll often put higher coupons in the newsletter than the 10%. But if there isn't one or you didn't see it, then you can always use my code to at least get something off because every little penny helps, right? <laughs> so thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I will definitely put a link to Frank's studio in the description box as well as my code again. So thank you for watching, and I hope you're all having a really great day. Bye! Um, actually needed some diamond stickles because I just ran out of this. These are 219 and then I also picked up Stardust, which is really pretty. And then I didn't know that he even had these, but these are Stickles Glitter Gel. So pretty. And this, these are $3.99. And this one, um, I don't know the name. I don't see a name on it. But it's um, a gel with like gold glitter and gold star glitter in it. So, or sequins. So cute. Really pretty. So I got that one. And then I also picked up this one. So you can see the color in this one. So pretty. And these are, like I said, I hadn't seen these before. But they are Stickles Glitter Gel. So I picked up those items. I also picked up um, the Stampendous Glitter Mix. And Anna had used this in one of her in her class. And I was like, that is so beautiful. Why don't I have <laughs> why don't I have some of this? So I picked up this too. So that was really nice. And then this I actually meant to pick up last weekend, but I totally forgot. And that's the new Distress Inks called Kish Flamingo. So he had ran out of the Distress Oxide stamp pad. But um, I do still use Distress Inks and I use Distress Oxides for colors that are really super, super light like the Spun Sugar. My preference is the Distress Oxide because it comes across better. You can see it better than the just the Distress Ink in the Spun Sugar. But in this color, it's more like a, like a, a brighter pink. So I'm thinking the Distress Ink is going to be fine in this particular color. So I didn't have a problem picking that up. And that was $6.99. And then um, I also picked up the spray. And the spray I did get in the Distress Oxide. So the sprays are $5.99. And then the Glaze which is an embossing powder and that is $5.99 and he recently did a video and you can find it on YouTube where he used the glazes and crayons and I've only I've only gotten through like the video is like really like two hours I think I've only gotten like a third of the way through it but I wanted to see like his technique on using this with the crayons so I picked up that and the the new colors I usually pick up the glaze and at least the distress ink or the distress oxide at least in the colors that he's gotten so far 
there might be some that I'm not gonna that I won't pick up because I don't pick up every single color that he has but um but um I really like this one okay so the rest of the items are actually just Tim Holtz products so these are some of the new items so these are adornments and their hearts so beautiful you get 12 pieces in there and that was $6.99 and then these are quote flares really really pretty again you get 12 in there and they're so very vintage and that's $5.99 and then um, I picked up the worn wallpaper scraps oh my gosh I love this I love the patterns and then these flowers and this was $7.99 but those, here's all the patterns that's in there so they're all shabby and vintage and there's even flowers and the flowers are actually um, the same material and this is it's not paper it is actually or is it let me see oh no it's paper but they're very very textured and they actually feel like fabric but it is paper and look at this doily oh my gosh that's so beautiful so beautiful flowers in this package and then um, then you get the papers as well um, I'm ripping it oh wow there's a lot of flowers in here so there's actually a hundred and twenty no there's 20 5 by 8 sheets and 29 die cut scraps so there's some little border pieces and then a bunch of flowers love that one and like I said they're very very textured and they feel actually like fabric but they're not and I wonder if my camera will pick up the pattern or the the, the pattern of the paper because it is textured and then these are the papers and they're not like um, they're thicker than just like a regular plain scrapbook paper they're like a probably like a thinner cardstock very beautiful patterns and um, very beautiful very shabby very vintage <laughs> so those are the the scraps the wallpaper scraps and then the last item that I picked up was um, the big chat which this is 478 stickers and this was 549 and these are bigger than his other like uh, chat books <laughs> um, where the the little pieces are bigger a bigger font than the other ones that he's had in the past which is cool because sometimes you don't want the little tiny the tiny chats and these bigger ones are the perfect size so you get them in um, white on um, white on black paper and then black on white paper so that is really cool so that is my haul okay so that is my haul um, but I did want to really show you really quickly what we made in Anna's class. Um, so, we made this door hanger shaker. And we used the Simple Stories um, Bunnies and Bloom collection. So we made this big door hanger shaker. We'd look at the, the um, sequins in there and the little chicks that's from a button sequin little acrylic box <laughs> that Frank sells as well um, and then we use the the foam stickers so this collection has foam stickers it has embellishments of course it has papers um, she also had us she actually made the rolled roses and we put them on there and there was a piece of paper but I didn't put it on the back but you totally could and um, she had a great idea at the end is to put that paper on and just glue it on three sides so then you could use it as a pocket and if you gifted this to somebody you could put a note in that pocket so that is so super cute love it love it love it so she provided everything the acetate 
all the die cut pieces, you know, the frame, all that that was cut out. The this is made out of two um, 110 pound die cuts as well as two um, pattern paper die cuts. So that was really cool. And then we made two three by three cards. So pretty. And these we used the ephemera pack for um, on. Again, she did some roses for us. They, the roses were already done. The rolled roses, she had them in our package. And then this was the main thing. This super, super cute 3D um, little book box memory decks card. So these are three little boxes. So I made mine a little bit different than, <laughs> than her class sample, but you know how that is. So um, I added some die cuts on the actual books, and you can see they have they all have dangles on them. Um, she had a different sentiment here, so I just took one of the foam pieces and cut it that said, You're a cute little bunny. This is one of the foam pieces. And then here's that um, the Stampendous Glitter Mix. So she had us use it on the back of any of the sticker pieces that weren't going to be flat glued down flat so you can see it shimmering there on the back of the bunny uh, so cute so then my little books I took some of the extra ephemera pieces and then I put it on the back of the book um, so then you can fill this with some goodies and then um, gift it but how cute is this so cute and then this is the last one so, so cute. Um, so it was a really fun class. Um, we had buttons. We, you know, all that stuff was all gifted to us. And I think I still have Ellen. She also gave us a pack of Kleenex and then this cute little case to carry everything in. Everything was, um, each of the projects was divided. All the pieces divided up in the little baggies. And then, um... Yeah, I still have um, enamel dots and then all these buttons left over. Buttons and flat back pearls. And, um, and then all of the foam stickers and also the ephemera. So that was really cool. So it was a really fun class. Um, adorable, adorable projects. So that was it. That was my two days. <laughs> My two weekends at Frank Garcia Studio, including the class projects that I did um, that from the class that Anna, that Anna was teaching. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Remember, if you're going to order from Frank Studio, that I have a coupon code. It's Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y 10. And you can use that if you're placing an order online and picking it up in store. Or either placing an order online and then having it shipped to you, you can use that code also remember to, to sign up for his newsletter. This past weekend there was a coupon for $10 off of a $60 purchase. Um, which is, you know, if you just purchase $60, that's more than just the regular 10% off. So always check his newsletter for um, maybe even a higher uh, coupon code or discount. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you're all having a really great day. Bye!